Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Red Game to Come video, I propose we discuss some trademarks which have recently been discovered that AMD have filed over the past several months. Now, these trademarks are very interesting in name. One of them is Ryzen, and the second is Fredrepper. Now, we can immediately start to conjure up images in our minds of what these could possibly be. It's fair to say that the company, AMD, are under a lot of pressure at the moment and expectation. We're not only expecting them to be very competitive with Zen, and of course the latest generation of processors, CPUs, but also we want to see high performance with Vega, which is naturally the successor to Polaris. This is also an article, by the way, it's linked, as always, in the video description. A user on Reddit, if his name's pronounced Elemental5, spotted these multiple filings. Now, as I said, the first one is Fredripper. It was first filed back on 25th October 2016, so it's pretty recent. Unfortunately, there's not a huge amount of information of what it could possibly be. There's a fairly nondescript description, which reads, well, at least partly, uh, semiconductor devices, semiconductor chips, semiconductors, computer hardware, microprocessor modules, microprocessor subsystems, computer hardware. So, you know what, I'm just going to stop because it could keep going forever and a day. But it basically lists every possible use, including even volatile memory and dynamic random access memory. The name Fredripper, though, really comes down to a couple of different theories. The biggest and most logical one is it would be AMD's answer to hyperthreading. So hyperthreading, at its core, is the idea of running multiple threads on the same processor core. It's not exactly fair, however, to attribute hyperthreading and SMT or to Intel. In fact, that would be extremely disingenuous to do so. SMT has been around for a number of years before even Intel kind of grabbed onto it. And while many folks do really think of SMT and hyperthreading as one and the same, and maybe even Intel being one of the big pioneers, it isn't really them who just pushed the technology solely. You've had IBM and multiple other companies have really used this technology to its fullest. Even the Xbox 360 had um, SMT inside of it with the Xenon processor. Fred Ripper, therefore, is most likely AMD's idea to try and, well, market the SMT technology in its own processors. I don't necessarily hate the name, but it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a weird name. Some folks have, you know, already started to rag on it. I guess the other way to look at this is it could be the idea of actually taking a larger thread and spreading it across multiple processor cores. Maybe that would be done in software, but how that would be achieved, it would be rather revolutionary if it was happening. So it would basically be a much better at, um, I guess, partitioning workloads. But I think it's much more likely to be their version of SMT. Another one which is definitely worth discussing is Ryzen. Now this also was filed earlier this year. But there's also very little information on it as well. The description simply says it's obviously owned by Advanced Micro Devices, AMD. But they also list it to be semiconductors, devices, semiconductor chips, semiconductors, computer hardware, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. There are a couple of other filings also. Juro, AMD Jitsu, that's J-I-T-Z-U, and finally Grok, which is G-R-O-K. Unfortunately, most of those names are so nondescript, so unhelpful in wording, they could be anything. I mean, it's the equivalent of me just calling something gobbledygook and then, you know, trademarking it. It doesn't tell you what it is. My feeling, however, is at least a couple of those are most likely APUs, which your guess is as good as mine what those APUs are going to be used for. For example, it could be that the low-power devices, which would naturally lend themselves rather nicely to the equivalence of two-in-ones, or they could be for high-end servers, or they could also just be, you know, for the desktop. After all, the AM4 platform is going to have a whole bunch of different uh, offerings. It's not just going to be like, you know, the Zen and that's it. We have learned an awful lot about Zen. I'll link this in the video description, some of the stuff we've learned, but we are hearing that January is the proposed launch date for Zen, and the pricing is supposedly going to be about $300 for the 8-chip-16-core module. 
Now it, the high-end device, also known as SR7, Summit Ridge 7, is going to really make Intel sweat because if it is priced at that amount, given the benchmarks we've seen, assuming they're accurate, which I imagine they would be because they all seem to tally up rather nicely with what AMD have shown us so far of the device, well, it's going to make things very interesting for Intel, let's say, over the part, over the next, let's say, year or so. Naturally, they will hit back with Coffee Lake, and it's not like they're going to be left resting on their laurels, and the fact that they have naturally a larger market share, and, well, honestly, they're more recognized in terms of the, uh, you know, the general public, that's also going to help them quite a bit, but I think for a lot of customers, they are going to lose some ground. Hopefully, AMD can hit back. And I say hopefully not because I'm a massive AMD fan, but as I've said previously, and I think it's worth repeating, I do want the company, AMD, to be very competitive with Intel, and I want Intel to be very competitive with AMD, because it makes for better products. Not only do we get better products in terms of the performance, but the price is also kept at a lower amount. Personally, I think that if AMD were the, the leading force, and it was Intel in the smaller position, there's a good possibility that AMD may charge a greater premium for their chips, for example. So it's good that you have this swings and roundabouts thing. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. A uh, bit of a question mark, so let me know what you think the trademarks are. I'll let you all go. Take care of yourselves. Normal thing, like, subscribe, comment, you know, normal bits. But I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.